As you can see, my chicken breast for the Greek lemon chicken has been browned on one side and it's getting toasty golden on the other side as well. I've got four chicken breasts in here and I'm browning them off first before I put my onions and garlic in the pan. So it looks like it's good, they're good to go. So I'm gonna take these off. And now I'm gonna add my onions to the pan. And the onions are gonna be cooking in all that wonderful chicken juice. Let me make sure I get all my onions. There we go. Because I started with a little bit of olive oil, I've got enough liquid in my pan, enough fat or oil in my pan, that it's going to render down my onions beautifully. Okay, while they're cooking down, I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper in here. There's a little more salt and a little bit more pepper. And then my onions have started cooking, so I'm gonna add my garlic. So garlic goes right in, and I'm gonna stir it in with my onions. Oh my gosh, it smells so great in this kitchen now. You're gonna love this recipe because it's so super simple, and it's all in one pan. So my onions have gotten a little bit soft now, so it's time to put my chicken back in and the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna nestle my chicken breasts in those onions and garlic. I'm gonna grab my tongs again. Here's my chicken right in there. So right in the pan. And now I'm gonna put the rest of my ingredients in. Oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. So, first of all, I'm gonna put in a little bit of lemon juice. This is Greek lemon chicken, after all. So there is my lemon juice. And now I'm gonna put in just a little bit, maybe about a quarter cup of Greek white wine. This is a clean, dry, crisp wine. It's called Asetirico. There we go. Now just a couple more ingredients. I've got some feta cheese. So my feta is going to go in and it's going to melt and make the most delicious sauce. And finally, couldn't be Greek without a little bit of Greek oregano. So I'm going to put my Greek oregano in. And this is just Greek oregano I bought in the regular grocery store. And then some green onions for a little onion flavor. And plus it's gonna look pretty too. So there's my green onions. And I'm gonna turn this off. And the next thing I'm gonna do is put it in the oven. After about, here we go. After about 40 or 45 minutes, the chicken will have cooked through. It's gonna make a delicious sauce with all the juices. And then I'm gonna serve it up. So into my oven, and this is a big old cast iron skillet, so I'm going to start by opening my oven, and then mm, even that chicken's heavy, and put it right in the oven, and it's at 400 degrees, and I've got one that I did a little bit earlier. I can't wait for you to see it. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, doesn't this look just so delicious? It's brown and crusty, and look at the wonderful sauce on it. I'm gonna finish our roasted chicken off, our Greek lemon roasted chicken off, with just a little bit of fresh oregano. I'm layering those flavors of oregano, because I used dried oregano in the chicken when I baked it. And then I'm gonna toss in a couple lemon slices so people can grab a piece of chicken and squeeze the lemon over it. I always serve it up with a little bit of crusty bread so that you can dip into the skillet and come up with some yummy juices. I hope you enjoy this Greek lemon chicken and I hope you make it at home.